I have delivered the missive about the meeting. Do you have any questions, Master Dan Hung? I know all that I wish to know. Thank you, Miss Huan Xi. You need not address me as Miss. I am but one of Miss Bailu's maids. Then again, if I may be so bold as to make a humble request. Uh, go ahead. Before this goes ahead, oh, who might this be? I'm sorry, but Sienjo's street lamps aren't in the habit of eavesdropping on conversations. I'm speaking with Master Don Hung. I'm afraid this doesn't involve you. Please take your leave. She is a close friend. I've invited her along to bear witness. Please, treat her as you would me. Now, what was your request? <laughs> then I hope you don't plan on meeting with Miss Bailu. Please, hear what I have to say. I have good reason to be concerned. Perhaps you should know that Miss Bailu's path to becoming a High Elder was neither in compliance with proper protocol, nor of her own volition. Everything was a result of the stubbornness of her predecessor, Don Feng. His hubris and tyranny brought about the end of the Lafu's High Elder Secession. The preceptors heard of Master Don Hong's return, and were uncertain whether it constituted good or ill fortune. However, many have surmised that the Law Fu's High Elder Secession tradition will soon be back in force. If true, that is indeed something we're celebrating. Whether we find another suitable candidate in accordance with the laws of our people, or have you take up the position anew, everything can still be mended. But, if Master Don Hung were to hand everything over to Miss Bailu, it could lead to great upheavals on the horizon. No good would come of it for her. <laughs> Such a major matter as this is naturally up to the Preceptor Elders, I couldn't possibly say. I've been a maid here for 12 years now, and was with my mistress every day as she studied medicine and received tutelage. I've witnessed her countless escapes, and the inevitable, unwilling returns. As far as a Sienjo is concerned, children like her enjoy a charmed and happy childhood. But as a high elder in nothing but name alone, Miss Bailu is highly restricted in her actions and has no freedom or say about her own life. I can't bear it. Your Highness, please think about this poor child. <sighs> Miss Bailu is young, naive, and easily manipulated by others. I worry that under the pressure of others, she would be convinced into taking up too great a burden. <sighs> I understand your concern, but I have nothing more to say on the matter at present. Then I will bid my farewell. Master Don Hung, whether you choose to meet Miss Bailu or go with me to see the Preceptor Elders, I will be waiting for you by the ferry leading to Scale Gorge Waterscape. <laughs> I haven't even set eyes on Bailu, and people are already urging me not to meet her. No need. March will find out sooner or later. You know that I'm a descendant of the Lofu Vidyatara. In Scale Gorge Waterscape, you witnessed my... secret strength, as March would call it. 
Yet that power stems from Don Feng, my previous incarnation. He altered the process of High Elder succession, plunging everything into catastrophe. Ultimately, he suffered the punishment of molting rebirth. Based on the physiological principles of Vidyadhara reincarnation, I ought to have been an entirely new entity. And, in view of the law, all crimes from my previous incarnation should have been wiped clean. <sighs> but in reality, I was locked up in the shackling prison at birth. Even after I was released and left the Xianzhou, my High Elder past and Don Fang's enemies pursued me like a haunting shadow. Now, I plan to face that shadow. In order to make amends, I want to repair the Ambrosial Arbor seal and visit the High Elder to see what more I can do. The Star Skiff is ready. Let's go. The rumors are true. You really are back. I'm Hila Lu Ying of the Alchemy Commission. I'm a Vidyadara too, as you can see. I'd heard the reincarnation of the Great Sinner has returned to the Lafu, and wanted to offer some advice. Oh? Leave this troubled place immediately. Certainly. Miss Bai Lu has weathered nothing but criticism since she was granted the title. But the Alchemy Commission firmly believes that girl to be a precious diamond in the rough. She is compassionate, kind, and a hundred times better than Don Fang. Moreover, Don Fang selected her as High Elder, making her the leader of the La Fu Vidyadara. Fate chose her as our sovereign, and we bowed down before that destiny. Now that you're back, everything has changed. The preceptors are starting to think of finding other candidates, which means nothing but trouble for Miss Bai Lu. Uh, I have no intention of threatening Bai Lu's position. You may have a clear conscience, but even so, as long as you remain on the La Fu, invisible forces will try to coerce you. Leave now. It is the best outcome for everyone involved. Do not repeat the mistakes of a past life in this one. Farewell. Excuse me, are you two on your way to the Alchemy Commission, Delph? Hello, what brings you two here? The wind and waves are restless around lunarescent depths today. Ah, uh, even you came to dissuade me from visiting the High Elder, General? <laughs> this encounter was not of my making. I've been recuperating in the Alchemy Commission under the Dragon Lady's care. Our paths have merely crossed. But your question would suggest that there are others interested in dissuading you from such a venture. Matters that concern the rise and fall of the Vidyadura will inevitably attract certain parties, those that would work circumstances to their advantage, be it Don Fong, the Preceptors, or the Alchemy Commission that trained the Dragon Lady. Your injury hasn't dulled your instincts, General. The Preceptors and the Commission seem deeply concerned. A chance meeting is a gift from fate. Why don't I help you to fathom their intent, then? <laughs> the power struggle between the Preceptors and their High Elder is a tale as old as time. And someone as powerful as Don Fong, who was completely beyond their control, was enough for them to harbor a hidden rage. The Elders used to have a small say in appointing the new High Elder. Who could have imagined that Don Fong would pick his own successor? And yet, 
That is precisely what happened, and all they could do was accept the result. Now that Don Hong has arrived, the elders see yet another chance. How could they let it go? <laughs> Us outsiders should not judge the laws of the Viriadra. The preceptors have been suppressed for some time now. They will inevitably try to overturn the situation. These people speak of legitimacy. They believe that Bai Lu was chosen as heir apparent by the previous High Elder, and that unless she were to commit a terrible sin, the Preceptors should have no right whatsoever to choose again. The Healer Lady has draconic features and scarcely believable therapeutic abilities. Some regard this as evidence that she is the High Elder, but the Preceptors are fixated on strength and are unwilling to accept her. Now that Don Fong's reincarnation has shown a command over the vast marine expanse of lunarescent depths, those longing to keep the traditional bequeathal of the High Elder feel increasingly uneasy. After Don Fong's abdication, they fought against the Preceptors and saved Bai Lu's dignity. They demonstrated a true devotion. These folks aren't the type to just let it go. It is an internal affair of the Viriaduras. As long as it does not disturb the peace aboard the Lafu, it does not involve the General of the Cloud Knights. Nevertheless, as a friend, let me remind you of one thing. So long as Don Hong and Bai Lu, with their respective High Elder powers and titles, both remain on the Lafu, the Viriadura will never cease their internal strife. This is not to say that either of you are to blame. <laughs> it's getting late. You are headed to repair the Arbor's seal at Skill Gorge Waterscape and visit the High Elder, no? <laughs> Farewell for now. I should start taking this business of rest and recuperation a little more seriously. I must return to my quarters now. I merely took advantage of the healer's absence to slip out and relax a little. <sighs> Be on your way. Master Don Hung, you're back. Have you made your decision? Will you come with me to meet with the elders first? Or are you set on seeing Miss Bailu? Miss Bailu is already waiting at Skill Gorge Waterscape. Your stubbornness is redolent of your previous incarnation. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere. A criminal who destroyed our succession is unworthy of setting foot in the sacred places of the Vidyotera. Wait. Master Don Hong's presence at Scale Gorge Waterscape has been approved by the Six Charioteers and the Preceptors. He is no longer the criminal he once was. Empty rhetoric. There are ways of unearthing his true identity. And even his reincarnation should answer for the monstrous crimes of the past. The Vidyatara will never accept him. <sighs> Die, Don Fung. Heaven's search. <laughs> Rise! The times are changed. You say Don Fung was merely your previous incarnation. How then do you still possess the power of the High Elder?
for rescuing me, Master Danhung. They came from me. I... I'm sorry you got dragged into it. It's risky to remain here. We should leave. Master Don Hung, after your meeting, will you go with me to see the elders? <sighs> Should I ever want to meet the preceptors, Miss Huan Si, I'll ask you to pass on the message. <sighs> I understand. Please alight, Your Highness. Miss Bai Lu awaits you at Dragon Vista Rain Hall. It could be dangerous ahead. We should proceed carefully. Hmm. So slow. I've been waiting for you here for ages. <gasps> An assassin? Are you okay? Are you injured? Fortunately, the skills of Master Don Hung and his friends were too much for them. There are those that wish to assassinate Master Don Hung, miss. Presumably to preserve your legitimacy as High Elder. Huh. I don't care about my legitimacy. Why do they? I told you, whoever wants to be the High Elder is welcome. I never wanted the title. I am Don Hung. It is an honor to meet you, Miss Bai Lu. You're Dan Hung? I heard about how you parted the ancient sea and scale gorge waterscape. <laughs> These assassins have got their work cut out for them. Miss Bai Lu, please don't say things like that. Mm, let me take a look at you. Dragon horns. Well, they say you're Don Feng's reincarnation. I suppose it must be true then. But you're different from me. Where's your tail? Uh, mm. Hmm. If I let you be high elder, will you grow a tail? Uh, about the high elder succession. I have no intention of getting entangled in that. I'm here to repair the Ambrosial Arbor seal. This is the duty of the Lofu Vidyatara. Oh, really? Then why'd you come to CB? All I've learned since my hatching weaver for some medical skills at the Alchemy Commission. I can't repair seals or part the sea like you can. I should take this opportunity to talk with you about the past, Miss Bailu. I've heard about your situation, and while I can't guarantee a solution, I will do my best to improve things for you. Hmm, interesting. You're not like other grown-ups. You say what you think, and you seem trustworthy. So, you want me to go with you to Scale Gorge Waterscape? Precisely. Let's go then. Miss Bailu. Guanxi, please wait here for me. I'll come back as soon as I can. I've got these two to look after me. <laughs> Don't worry. Magnificent sight! Is that the Ambrosial Arbor? Yes. Forming a seal and using their power to curb the spread of the arbor's roots is an important task entrusted to the Lo Fu's High Elder. <laughs> News to me! The elders must be well aware that I'm not qualified for this position. Which begs the question. Why did Dan Feng choose me all those years ago? 
That's exactly what I've come to Scale Gorge Waterscape to find out. Among the Vidyatara, the High Elder is the existence closest to the permanence. According to historical records, the High Elder succession involves a secret ritual known as the Transmutation Arcanum, as well as a treasure known as Dragonheart. Once succession is complete, the former High Elder undergoes a hatching rebirth, while the new High Elder begins to display draconic features. However, Don Feng's ritual failed, and his powers remained within me. And yet for some reason, it also created you. So, in medical terms, he messed up the prescription. And brought suffering down on himself and just about everyone else in the process. I want to use this opportunity to repair the Ambrosial Arbor seal. And see if I can help recall our memories. Shun the tree's growth, the residual plague, water of the ancient sea. Upon the High Elder's command, subdue the eternal roots. Strange. This is different from the breaking of the seal. Why is there no reaction? What's wrong? Not going to plan, huh? Shun the tree's growth, the residual plague. Shun the tree's growth, the residual plague. Huh. Water, Water of the ancient, ancient sea. sea. On the High Elder's command, subdue the eternal roots! This feeling... Uh, that, that's it! You did it! And this alone should prove to everyone that you are the true High Elder. When the seal was re-established, did you recall anything? It was like a tide surging through my mind. I became really, really huge and the whole of Scale Gorge Waterscape was responding to my voice, resonating with me. <laughs> That's fun! Danhung, teach me another trick. Let's see if I can remember anything else. <laughs> Wait, can you feel it? There's someone coming. You! Who are you? Protect my Lu! Hey! I'm doing the protecting here! Nobody's getting hurt with me around! Heaven's search! <laughs> Break! How did they manage to appear right next to us without a sound? They may have used a cloud hymn to create mist and provide a smoke screen. Uh, I'm afraid this ambush was probably lying in wait for us. Uh, seems like some people have had enough of my presence. <clears throat> if I'm their target, why would they come after Bailu? Mm. We don't know how many there are. Let's get out of here. Go! Look! Look at that shadow! Could it be an assassin? Don't worry. Those things aren't hostile. This power, it rivals the tidal forces in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Is that you, Danfeng? Have you returned? I'm afraid you have the wrong person. These floating shadows are called Mirage Echoes. They are memories of past lives and echoes from the past that the Vidyatara shed during their rebirth. The books say that these mirages only speak to people they can recognize. And the water on their bodies can be used as medicine. <laughs> Seems this mirage mistook me for Don Feng. 
There's no mistake. This old man would recognize your voice anywhere. <laughs> Have you come to this sacred place to repent? The proud son of the Vidyadara, hero of the High Cloud Quintet. <laughs> you fought with us your whole life. How far you have fallen. You availed yourself of the Transmutation Arcanum to summon that draconic abomination. And almost laid waste to scale Gorge Waterscape in the process. If your allies hadn't united to slay it, then the Abomination would have destroyed the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. Tell me, did it sadden you to watch the Abomination perish? As the High Elder, you should have freed us from the plight of rebirth and set foot on a brand new path. But instead, you were seduced by your reputation and abandoned yourself. You counted CM Joe natives and even short life species among your friends. The upcoming trial is your final chance. Hand over the secrets of the Transmutation Arcanum now, and the preceptors can help you keep your secrets. Isn't that draconic abomination you created proof of the transmutation Arcanum's success? Hmm. I heard that Don Feng craved the powers of our dragon ancestor Long the Permanence, and created a monstrous dragon-like creature. That must be what he's referring to. <laughs> and so the hero of the Xianzhou became its arch-villain. Elder, look around you. You've long since reincarnated. What remains here are just the mirages of the waters of the ancient sea. Impossible. I... I still live! The High Elder Succession will not be severed in this generation. I don't like this mirage echo. He thought that the Vidyadara was superior to other races, and that he was superior to other Vidyadara. Huh. As if the Vidyadara would never progress without their plans. <laughs> I guess Don Feng probably never told them the secret of the transmutation Arcanum. <sighs> we shouldn't linger here. The assassins are using skilled Cloud Hymn magic to make themselves invisible. <sighs> but their presence is all too real. These Mirage Echoes, on the other hand, are vestiges of the past. If we can center and transmit the echoes, we should be able to detect any assassins hidden beneath the surface of the water. Let's look for mirage echoes and send out pulses. <sighs> Move carefully. Another invisible assassin? Careful. They're waiting for us to get close enough to reveal our weak spots. Alchemy Commission yet again. How many times have I told you our rules state that... Sorry! I'm sorry! I won't do it again! Wait! I remember that voice. That's the old Chief Alchemist. So she's... been reborn? Reborn? <sighs> More excuses. Who brought you out this time? Is that... Master Don Fong? I think so. The appearance of the Law Fu's High Elders have been similar through the ages. 
But there's no mistaking Master Dom Funk. Bailu, return to the Forbidden Residence. I must speak with Master Don Fong. Oh, okay. Wait, no! You were just a mirage echo! Uh, I got tricked again! Master Don Fong, I finally understand your plan. That little girl is the key to the transmutation arcanum. This is a breakthrough for my research. The Vidyatara performs self-reincarnation, but we are unable to reproduce. Natural and artificial disasters inevitably reduce our population. If this continues, one day our noble draconic bloodline will perish, and the fated decree of the permanence will be violated. For this very reason, I have spent my entire life researching ways to free the Vidyatara from the cycle of reincarnation. I have been without success for a long, long time, thinking that this reincarnation had been naught but a waste. But now, you have enlightened me. Don Feng. What did he do? Master Don Feng, your changes to the transmutation arcanum created a draconic abomination that wreaked great destruction. But it also created a new life. This is the hope that will one day allow the Vidyatara to reproduce. My understanding of reproduction was limited by ordinary notions. How constrained I was! Why should Vidyatara reproduction remain trapped within the confines of our race? To unearth the potential might of Long's blood, and incorporate other races into the flesh of the dragon? Isn't that the real meaning behind the transmutation arcanum? The Perceptors are too narrow-minded to see your talent. They want to install another High Elder. <laughs> Foolish! What does she mean by that? The Transmutation Arcanum seems to contain a secret that allows the Vidyatara to escape the cycle of reincarnation and return to normal reproduction. <sighs> but the mechanism eludes me. Let's go. Don't tell me you've already heard about Sanctus Medicus. Have you come here to condemn me? Seems like none of the Mirage Echoes realize that they've already been reborn. They are mere fragments stripped from the lives of the Vidyatara. I have never believed in the High Elder. You are unworthy of the condemnation you spout. Especially you, Miss Bailey. You simply do not have the power of the High Elder, the power to summon the forces of nature. Why should I believe you are superior in any way to Master Don Fung? The Preceptors, our people, they think the High Elder is the Vidyatara's only savior. <laughs> Arrogant, illogical. Have you seen what Merciful Medicus can do? The Vidyatara already have the mortal bodies. What they should pray for is the ability to reproduce like the Sienjo natives. Merciful Medicus will help us to grow our population and bear descendants. They can do what the High Elder cannot. 
One day you will come to know that I was right. Ooh, you never knew the Vidyadara had believers in the Plague's author among their ranks. You, Master Dong Fang. Why did you disgrace yourself? You were my hero. I, I dreamed of being just like you. Of joining the Cloud Knights. But, but you betrayed the hopes and dreams of the Elders. This Mirage Echo. He must be a Cloud Knight who fought alongside Don Fung all those years ago. How many of us perished in that disaster? and could not be reincarnated. And I, my leg was torn off by that abomination. Oh, the pain. The doctors at the Alchemy Commission said I have to reincarnate as soon as possible to avoid affecting my immortal life. But my poor comrades have no chance of returning to the ancient sea. You once told us that we should cherish every life cycle and that you would use cloud and magic to heal our wounds. But in the end, all you did was betray us. I must listen to him very carefully. We cannot afford to miss any information. I will never forgive you. The High Elder's power belongs to the Vidyadara of the Lawfu. You are unworthy. The Vidyadara must not sever the High Elder Succession tradition just because of you. Hand it over. Dunhung, is this the price we pay for bearing the power of the High Elder? Carrying the weight of all these expectations, all this hatred. Before any of this transpires, you have enough time to prepare. Bailu, are you okay? You were in there for such a long time. Luckily, I had Dan Hung and her to protect me all the way. If anyone's owed a thanks, it's them. I didn't expect those assassins to be so brazen and reckless, storming a sacred place like Scale Gorge Waterscape and pursuing you. Rest assured, Miss Bailu. I'll report them to the Elders and round them all up. Fortunately, the three of you were blessed by the gods. If anything had happened to you, it would have been a dereliction of duty on my part. Assassins. None of us mentioned that the danger involved assassins. How did you know that? Oh, it's because we were already attacked at the ferry, no? I was just worried that those people would try and attack you again. You said those assassins only came from Mr. Dun Hung. But the ones we met in the ruins were coming from me instead. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps the real dereliction of duty was that not enough happened to you. 
So, did the Elder send you to take out the unworthy High Elder? <laughs> that was my idea alone. How could the Preceptors have come up with that? From my perspective, the Vidyadara requires only one High Elder. A second High Elder, one who is weak and useless, must be removed. Miss Bailu, our relationship as mistress and maid ends here. Farewell. Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. You don't look so good. <laughs> Stay off. Do not fret. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Strength. The heavens surge. <laughs> Break. Need a doctor? <laughs> I'm on guard. <laughs> I sense a storm. Lance ablaze! Lance forward! <laughs> ah, am I too late? General! Did you bring reinforcements? Reinforcements? Time for the master stroke. I am the reinforcements. Show no mercy! Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> you bully! Immortality means forever. <laughs> I sense a storm. A miracle. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. Let me tend your wounds. Lance at the ready. Not a scratch. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. The strength. A puny existence. Hear this thunder. Sense a storm. The heavens surge. <laughs> Break. A formal conclusion. <laughs> Time to show you what's in your prescription. Do not fret. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the master stroke. Show no mercy. Not a scratch. The strength. Conflict is pitiless. Need a doctor? I'm on guard. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Immortality means forever. I sense a storm. The heavens surge. Rise. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Did the Preceptors truly believe that nobody knew of their scheme? 
They should return to their senses. Attacking the Dragon Lady only destroys what little prestige they have remaining. <sighs> the whole thing was planned by me and me alone. Beware of false charges, General. Save your breath. We all know the truth once the Cloud Knights send you to the Ten Lords Commission's judges. <sighs> Too late, Jing Yuan. I go no further. <sighs> I always felt useless in the eyes of the Elders. A false dragon who failed to inherit the power of the High Elder. And today I realized they'll use any means of removing me. Not all of the Vidyadra harbor evil intentions. If you feel uneasy, Dragon Lady, the Seed of Divine Foresight can arrange for you to stay elsewhere. Thank you, General. I'd like to talk more with Danheng first. <laughs> Very well. I will await all of you at the ferry. The Vidyadara have neither parents nor family members. Once born, the teacher is assigned to instruct the young Vidyadara in the art of Cloud Him, as well as various life skills. Dunhong, did you have a teacher like that? If you're asking about Vidyadara tradition, I'm afraid that's something I never had any experience of. I've always been a wanderer. I... I can never return to my homeland. In my fragmented dreams, I meet enemies on the battlefield. But in my travels, I meet many people who I can describe with the word teacher. As far back as I can remember, I've had the preceptors and alchemy commission healers telling me what to do. Cure diseases, save lives. I don't know if that counts as teaching. You know something? It feels like you're the teacher I've been waiting for. Virtuous in the past life, master in the next life. Perhaps we were friends or disciples in our previous incarnations. <laughs> A friend or disciple of Dan Feng? Maybe. Miss Bai Lu. At first, I was worried that your title of High Elder was in name only and that an absence of true power would eventually put you in grave danger. <laughs> it seems I was overthinking things. You have no shortage of true power. You mean the power to repair the seal? The power you taught me? The mirage echoes of Scale Gorge Waterscape mentioned that not only was Don Feng a brave warrior, he could heal others with Cloud Him magic. What you have is the power of the High Elder that belongs to you. The power of life that can reforge the Arbor Seal and the vitality of the Eternal Roots. <laughs> it is a world away from my power of destruction. Hmm. In that case, Dunfeng probably had a gentle side to him too, right? <laughs> Perhaps. Hmm. We should head back to the healer's market. I have other things to do today. Let's go. <sighs> now that the seal is repaired, my fares on the Xianzhou have drawn to an end. Uh, for the time being. Are you planning on staying on the Lawfu? The banishment decree has been revoked, and the preceptors have regained an awareness of the situation. This is your chance to return to your homeland. As a nameless, <laughs> the Express still needs me. Ah, that is a pity.
I think I should refrain from violating the healer's orders any further. <sighs> the weariness is creeping up on me once again. <laughs> Time to lie down. Farewell, all of you.